is a miracle. No, no, go walk out is a miracle. Walking a miracle, walk out is a miracle. Walking a is the Alpha and Omega. Is a miracle. Walking God, miracle, walk out is a miracle. Walking God, miracle, walk out is a miracle. Walking God is a Alpha and Omega. Is a miracle. Walking God, miracle, walk out is a miracle. Walking a miracle, walker is a miracle. Walking a is the Alpha and Omega is a miracle. Walking a thank you, Jesus, the owner of my soul, Alpha Omega. You are worthy to be praised. No generation, there is no one like you, like my God. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, the owner of my soul. Alpha Omega, oh, you are worthy to be praised. In our generation, there is no one like you, like you, Lord. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. Worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Immortal God, invisible God, immortal God. How great thou art, immortal, immortal God, immortal, invisible God, immortal God. How great thou art, heavenly living soul. Every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Ah, the most high, the most high, the most high, the most Today, the most irene, the most irene, the most irene in my life today. I will praise the Lord. I will praise my God. I will praise Him with my own heart. With my own heart. I will praise the Lord. Precious people, praise the Lord, hallelujah. I will praise the Lord, I will praise the Lord, I will praise Him with my own, with my own. I will praise the Lord, precious people. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead and begin to worship the Lord. Let's lift up our voices. Let's begin to adore Him. Let's begin to exalt His holy name. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. Worthy to be exalted. He's worthy to be lifted on high. There is no one like Him. There has never be anyone like Him. There can never be anyone like Him. Let's worship our God. Let's worship our King. Let's worship our Maker. Let's worship our Redeemer. Let's worship our All in All is higher than the 
there is better than the best, bigger than the biggest, is the most high, the soon coming king, the one that seated on the throne in heaven, the one that ruled in the affairs of men. Let's worship the Almighty. Let's worship our God. Let's worship our King. Let's worship Him that is strong and powerful. Let's worship Him. is the creator of the entire universe. Let's worship Him. is the Alpha, is the Omega, is the beginning, is the ending. Let's worship Him, the God that has been before the beginning, the God that will be even after the ending. Father, I worship you. Jesus, I bless your holy name. Lord, I adore you. I declare there is no one like you. There has never been anyone like you. There can never be anyone like you. You are God. You are full of power. You are God. You are full of mind. You are God. You are full of majesty. No one can compare to you. No one can measure up with you. Father, you are God in your own class, in your own order. Father, I bow before your throne. I bow before your majesty. I reference, oh God, in your presence. I say, blessed, 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 blessed be your name, O Lord. God that walketh wonder, miracle walking God, God that perform what no man can perform. Beside thee, O God, there is no one, O God. No one has ever done what you did. No one can ever do what you are doing. You are the most high, the Lord of all. Blessed, 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 blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Amen. You want to lift up your voice. You want to thank him. Thank him for his goodness in your life. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his compassion. In all ways that God has been good to you. Can you please just go ahead and begin to thank him. Father, thank you. Jesus, thank you. Saviors, thank you. Redeemer, thank you. The Most High God, thank you. My Father, thank you. My Holy Lord, thank you. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you will do. Thank you for what you can do. Father, I am grateful for your kindness. I am grateful, O oh God, for your loving kindness. Thank you, O oh God, for forgiveness of my sin. Thank you for blotting away all my iniquity. Thank you for blotting away all my unrighteousness. Thank you, O oh God, in all ways that I've sinned, in all ways that I've erred, in all ways that I've disobeyed, in all ways that I've wronged thee, O oh God. Father, thank you because you forgive me. Thank you because you overlook. Ah, what a love you have shown unto me. You re- redeem me out of sin. You redeem me out of darkness and you make me your own and not just your own. You, oh God, you make me have access to all that you possess, that all that you are. Oh God, thank you. Thank you for my inheritance in you. Thank you for my inheritance in you. Thank you for my inheritance in you. Thank you for your preservation. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your leading. Thank you for fighting in all my battle. Thank you for feeding me. Thank you for clothing me. Thank you for paying my bill. Thank you for ensuring my health. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for answers to my prayer. Thank you for your miracle signs and wonders in my life. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my marriage. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my brethren. Thank you, oh God, for my going out. Thank you for my coming in. Thank you for your anointing anointing of Pumala. Thank you for fire on the move worldwide ministry, O Lord. Thank you for our nations. Thank you, O God, for being there. Thank you for your miracle signs, wonders in my life, in the life of my brethren, in my home, in the life of my wife, in the life of my children. Father, thank you. Thank you for keeping evil far away from me. Father, blessed, 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 blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. You want to ask God for mercy tonight? Amen. If there's anything that will make him not to answer you tonight, you want to cry to him for mercy. Let him just have mercy on you. Father, I come before you tonight, cry unto you for mercy. Father, please have mercy on me. Whatever sin in my life that will make you not to answer me tonight, Father, please have mercy and forgive me. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever the accuser of brethren Satan is pointing your attention to in my life, for you not to hear me. 
Father, please have mercy on me and forgive me. Father, please have mercy on me and forgive me. Father, please have mercy on me and forgive me. Forgive me of every sin. Forgive me of every unrighteousness. Forgive me of every filthiness. Forgive me of every dirtiness. Forgive me for all my wrongdoing. Father, mercy, Lord. Father, mercy, Lord. Whatever Satan is reporting to you concerning me, Father, let your mercy prevail. Just forgive me, O Lord. Have mercy on me. Remember the blood that Jesus shed on the cross for the remission of my sin. Father, please have mercy and forgive me tonight, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Lord that answer Elijah, he will answer me by fire. He will answer me by fire tonight, tonight, tonight. The Lord that answered Elijah, he will answer me by fire. He will answer me by fire tonight. The Lord that answered, the Lord that answered Elijah, he will answer me by fire. Oh, he will answer me by fire tonight, tonight, tonight. The Lord that answered Elijah, he will answer me by fire. He will answer me. By fire to You want to call on God that answered Elijah by fire. Is the same in the days of Elijah and is the same even in our days. Let that God answer you tonight by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Oh God that answered Elijah by fire. Can you please call him one more time? Say, Oh God that answered Elijah by fire, answer me tonight by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and begin to call on him. Lift up your voice and begin to call on him. Oh God that answered Elijah by fire, answer me tonight by fire. Unto you I have come tonight. Unto you I have lifted my voice tonight. Unto you I have come tonight. Oh God that answered Elijah by fire, answer me tonight by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Answer my prayers tonight by fire. God that answered Elijah by fire. Answer me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Answer me right away in the name of Jesus Christ. Answer me tonight by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God that answered Elijah by fire. Answer me now 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 by fire. Oh God that answered Elijah by fire. Answer me tonight 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 by fire. Answer me, Lord. Malodosha. Imbrada la 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 God that answered Elijah by fire. Answer me tonight by fire. In the name of Jesus, friend. Oh, God that answered Elijah by fire. Answer me right away by fire. In the name of Jesus, right? Monday, leko sute, le brada, leko jege, le brada, los kaladosa. Illegalebo, jegelebo, jagadabo. Thank you, faithful father. In Jesus' Mighty name, we pray. Amen. Somebody wants to pray tonight. You want to call on God that answered Elijah by fire. Let him arise tonight. Let him crush all your oppressor and tormentor in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever, whatever is oppressing your life or tormenting your life, let the God of Elijah arise tonight 
and crush it completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray? Say, oh God that answered Elijah by fire. Can you please call him with all your heart? Say, oh God that answered Elijah by fire. Arise tonight and crush completely every of my oppressor and tormentor. Arise for me tonight and crush completely every of my oppressor and tormentor. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray that prayer. I say, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Oh God, that oh God, that answer Elijah by fire. Oh God, that defended Elijah. Oh God, that arose for Elijah. Arise for me tonight. Every of my oppressor and tormentor. Oh yeah, crush them tonight. 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 Crush now completely every of my tormentor, every of my oppressor. Let them be crushed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God that arise for Elijah. Oh God of Elijah. Oh God that answer Elijah by fire. Arise for me tonight. 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 Crush now. Crush now. Every of my oppressor. Every of my tormentor. Oh yeah, crush them. 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 Crush now. 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 Every of my oppressor. Every of my tormentor. Arise and crush them. 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 Cross all my oppressor. All my tormentor. Cross them tonight. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to command every family battle that is assigned to consume you. Let that battle die. Whatever battles that consume others in your family and is now your turn to be consumed. Oh, let that battle expire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray somebody? Say family battles. Can you say with boldness? Say family battles assigned to swallow me. I am not your candidate. Say family battles assigned to swallow me. I am not your candidate. Therefore, da in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and terminate that battle. Lift up your voice and terminate that battle. Family battles assigned to swallow me. I am not your candidate. Therefore, da in the name of Jesus Christ. Family battles assigned to swallow me. Follow me. I am not your candidate. Therefore, oh yeah, da, 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 oh yeah, da. In the name of Jesus Christ, family battles are signed to swallow me. I am not your candidate. I command in the name of Jesus Christ, da. In the name of Jesus Christ, family battles are signed to swallow me. I am not your candidate. Therefore, da in the name of Jesus Christ. Family battles, da in the name of Jesus Christ. Family battles, da in the name of Jesus Christ. Family battles, assigned to swallow me. I am not your candidate. Malakata kalabobush, imbradalulush, kambradilish, kebradulush, kebradalibusha. Family battles, assigned to swallow me. I am not your candidate. 
Da in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Rando lo sheke le korodo sete le brado lili sheke le brado lili skanda la bo sheke li anda. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for answers already to our prayers. Lord, as we are to go into your word, we pray you speak to us. By your word, open our eyes to the wonders in your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to the mystery in your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grant your word entrance into our life. Grant our life entrance into your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your word mix with faith in us tonight. Let your word mix with faith in us tonight. And let it produce mighty wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to welcome you once again to this service. Amen. It's another Monday, another time in this uh, uh, weekly online service. Amen. And we're looking at the mysteries of prayers. Amen. Mysteries of prayers. Amen. We said that prayer is a powerful tool handed over to us by God to assess our inheritance in him. Amen. It's a tool of us, you know, of assessing our inheritance. It's a tool, it's an instrument of possessing, of taking over, or, you know, of, of getting our inheritance in him. Amen. Because according to Ephesians chapter 1, from verse 16 to 18, we realize we have an inheritance. We are called unto inheritance. Amen. Whatever our Lord Jesus Christ inherited in the Father is also our inheritance. Amen. So Ephesians 1, 16, 18 talks about the glory of our inheritance in him. Amen. And then in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, we discover that our inheritance in him is everything that pertains to life and godliness. So whatever that guarantees life, whatever that makes beautiful life, whatever that makes life, you know, uh, uh, worth living. Amen. It's our inheritance in God. Amen. It's an inheritance in God. So it's for us to what to assess. And prayer is our tool of assessing. Prayer is our tool, is our instrument of taking over or taking possession of our inheritance in Him. Amen. Of taking our inheritance in Him. Amen. And we'll look at uh, the last time we look at the story of the you know of the prodigal son and the elder brother. Two of them they have an inheritance in the father. Amen. One was able to assess his inheritance by asking. Amen. Pray. I mean, to pray is to ask. Amen. So he made use of the instrumentality of prayers, that is asking, to assess his inheritance in the Father. And he was not denied. Amen. But the other kept living, living right, living holy, living righteous, you know, living in obedience to the Father, but he never made use of what? Of the instrument of prayer to assess his inheritance in the Father. Maybe it was he was waiting, the thing would just drop on him. Amen. Then suddenly, uh, the one that the, the, the younger one that assessed the Adam messed up big time. Amen. And then he still realized there is still an inheritance in the Father, inheritance of mercy. So he still went to what? To use prayer to assess what that inheritance. Amen. And it was and it was given. Amen. Oh, and the elder brother became what? Became angry and confronted the father. Oh, you are not being fair to me. Oh, I've been so faithfully committed to you. I've not seen, I've this, I've that, I've that. But for one day, you have not given me one thing. Amen. But this, your son. Amen. That, you know, that mess up big time. Amen. Oh, the same song you are still celebrating. Oh, and the father said to him, all that I have is yours. All the inheritance is yours. Amen. It's for you. It's for you. But you are the one that will need to assess the inheritance. The inheritance will not just drop on you or just manifest it. You, you will assess it. You will need to assess it. The younger one assess it, but the senior, the elder one did not. Amen. So prayer is, a, a, you know, it's a spiritual tool. It's a powerful tool. 
you know, handed over to us by God to assess our inheritance in him. Amen. To pray is to what? Is to ask. Amen. To pray is to what? Is to ask. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. I read from verse 7 uh, to 11. It says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Amen. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and in him, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good thing, good gift unto your children, how much more shall your father, which is in heaven, Give good things to them that ask him. Give good things to them that what? That ask him. Amen. Everything the Father asks is our inheritance. Amen. But we need to assess it through prayers. Amen. We need to assess it through what? Through asking. Now, he said, he will, that our Heavenly Father will give to them that ask. Amen. Not to them that did not ask. Amen. So, prayer is an instrument of assessing our what? Our inheritance in the Lord. Amen. So, friend, prayer is not just an exercise. See it as an instrument of getting what belongs to you in God. See it as an instrument of withdrawing what is yours in the Lord. Amen. In the book of John chapter 6, John, uh, 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 Jesus Christ says something. Is it 6 or 16? John chapter 16. Amen. If you read verse 24, John chapter 16. Amen. I read from verse 24 of John chapter 16. Amen. Verse 24. Hear what Jesus said. He said, Eat Have you asked nothing in my name? He said, Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be what? Your joy may be. Jesus said, We should ask that if we ask, we will receive. Amen. Our asking is prayer. And then that is the instrument of receiving. That is the instrument of receiving or, or, or instrument of assessing our inheritance in the Lord. Amen. It's an instrument of assessing what? Our instrument, uh, uh, our inheritance in the Lord. You need to ask. Amen. That is, you need to what? You need to pray. Amen. If you keep your mouth shut, you keep quiet, you are not asking, you are not praying. Amen. Yes, there are all things that pertain to life belong to you, but they might not come to you. They might not manifest in your life because you are not assessing them. That was the mistake that the, 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 the elder brother of the prodigal sons made. Yes, the father said, everything I have belongs to you, but he was not assessing it. Why? He was not using the instrumentality of prayers to what? To assess his inheritance in the Lord. Jesus said, we should ask and then we what? We will be given. We should ask and then we what? We will be given. Amen. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 2, 2 Kings chapter 2, Amen. If you read from verse 9, Amen. The story of Elijah and Elisha. Amen. Elijah, Elisha and Elisha. Amen. 9, he said, and it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Amen. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me, when I'm taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. Now, Elisha knew that all the power, all the anointing, all the grace, that Elijah exhibited belongs to God. You know, you know, is their inheritance in the Lord. Amen. Elijah is not the owner of the power. Elijah is not the owner of the anointing. And it is not all those miracles that are not by the uh, human power of Elijah, but it was his inheritance or our inheritance in the Lord. Amen. So when it was time for Elijah to go, Elisha knew this thing does not belong to you. You assess it, you enjoy it. Eh, it is my turn to want to assess it. So he said, El Elijah said, ask, what do you want? He said, well, the only thing I want is I have had a glimpse of my inheritance. 
in terms of anointing, in terms of power in the Lord. Now, I know there is still much more. So, I want the double of what you exercise. I want the double of your power, which is our inherited Lord. I want it upon myself. Ah, and I just say, hey, you have asked for Ati. Eh, you want to, I mean, you want to assess more than I did. I say, yes, that's what I want. He said, okay, no problem. You know, if you can see me where I'm going, it will be unto you. Amen. Now, he asked for something that seems hard, but it was his inheritance in the Lord. Amen. He was able to assess it and he got it. Amen. Whatever you ask, amen, that is your inheritance in the Lord, that is what you get. Amen. Whatever you ask, that is your interest in the law. That is what you want. That is what you get. Amen. That is what you get. He knew that it belongs to God. He knew Elijah was not the owner of the power. That yeah, it was there, it was our inheritance. So Elijah enjoyed it. He also decided to assess that by what? Through his what? Through his prayers. Friends. How much of your inheritance in the Lord are you assessing? Prayer is not just an exercise, but it's an instrument of assessing our inheritance in the Lord. It's an instrument of assessing our inheritance in the Lord. Now, that's why tonight I want to encourage you to pray. I want to pray some prayers tonight. And please make up your mind to pray these prayers. Amen. And as we pray this prayer, I seek God giving answers in the name of Jesus Christ. The first prayer you want to pray tonight, you want to command every midnight battles, somebody needs to pray this. Assigned to swallow your life, let it backfire by fire. Whatever battles that the enemy always raise in the night, or whatever battle the enemy, you know, brought into your life through the hour of the night to swallow your life, let that battle, let it backfire by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray somebody? Say every midnight battles. Can you say with boldness? Say every midnight battles assigned to swallow my life. I command by fire now by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Every midnight battles assigned to swallow my life. I command in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, by fire now by fire. Midnight battles assigned to swallow my life, to swallow my destiny. By fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I command in the name of Jesus Christ. Every battle raised against my life. In the hour of the night, every battle raised against my life, even in my dream, I command in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, by fire by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, by fire by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every midnight battles, every midnight battles, as yeah, to swallow my life. Backfire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Backfire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Backfire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Midnight battles assigned to swallow the life of my wife, the life of my children. I command in the name of Jesus Christ. Backfire now. Backfire now. Backfire now. Backfire now. Backfire now. Backfire. Now, backfire. Now, makata kata 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 kura na labo shaka na ba. Imbra dalulu zubre dili kushikeli andalaboja. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to pray this prayer? You want to command any power that is denying you of your inheritance in life? Let that power lose its hold and be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever power that is preventing your access into your inheritance in life, into your inheritance in the law, let such power, let it be arrested and destroyed completely tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is time for you to begin to enjoy your inheritance in life. It is time for you to begin to have access to your inheritance in life. In the name of Jesus Christ, good health 
wealth is your inheritance in the law. Oh, good home is your inheritance in the law. Prosperity is your inheritance in the law. Wisdom is your inheritance in the law. Success is your inheritance. In the law. Whatever that I've been denying you, I said, let it be crushed tonight. In the name of Jesus, right? Are you ready to pray? Say any power, any personality. Say any power, personality. Deny me access to my inheritance in life. I command be arrested and destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Any power, any personality that is denying me as to my inheritance in law, oh yeah, be arrested and destroyed now by fire. Be arrested and destroyed now by fire. Be arrested and destroyed now by fire. Power personality. Lakashakata. Deny me as into my inheritance. Deny, deny me answer to the oh to things that pertain to life and God in there. I command in the name of Jesus right? every good things that pertain to life and godliness is my inheritance in the law. Any power personality deny me access eh, to my inheritance in the law. Be arrested now and destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus right? Be arrested now and destroyed now by fire in the name of Jesus right? Power personality, preventing me access into my inheritance in life. Power personality, deny me access to my inheritance in life. I command to now be arrested and destroyed by fire. 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 Mandakata Imbradolosa in Locosia, in Brado Zulika Shekete, in Brada Luskete Rabosi, in Crodo Zegelego Dobosa, in Lada Katakata, in Brada Labo Zuliko Rodo Shekede, power personality, deny me access into my inheritance, preventing me access into my inheritance, I command in the name of Jesus Christ, lose your own. Oh, be destroyed now nah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Manda la koshe ke le brodo zagada go jegeli andra. Embra da la bo zolo koshe ke le karada bo za. Ele karada satali embro do jegeli andra. Ela la la bo shakada karodo zole ka jegeli ya. Embro do zolo kade koshe ke le andra. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. In the same way you want to pray this way, I beg you, please pray. You want to command any power that have taken over all that is meant for you, all the things that pertain to life and godliness that is meant for you, whatever power that have taken them over, thereby enjoying it and making it to suffer where you ought not to suffer. Let those power, let them release back to you your inheritance in life. Amen. Let them release back to you. Oh, many, oh, many suffer where they ought not to suffer. Oh, many are languishing in poverty when they are not even meant to be poor. Many are languishing in needs when they are not even meant to be in need. Why? A power or personality have taken over what is meant for them in life and enjoying it to their own detriment. But tonight, as you pray this prayer, hey, power will change hands tonight. There shall be a divine exchange tonight. What is meant for you will return back to you. Somebody needs to pray this because your situation is about to change suddenly now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I remember very well the testimony of that woman. Oh, we had a program then. It was called A Night of Power. Oh, this man was present in that meeting and there was a prayer that was raised. Amen. Just like this prayer is being raised now and I know it is meant for you. Amen. And she prayed that prayer. What was the prayer? That every satanic transactions that have taken away what belongs
belongs to her. Let that transaction be reversed. Amen. And the woman prayed that prayer. It was a Friday night vision. Amen. She prayed that prayer very well. Of course, everyone in the meeting prayed the prayer very well. But she also prayed and she returned on Sunday to give her testimony. Amen. Now, prior to that time, things were very bad, were very difficult for them. Amen. It was such a bad situation that they could not pay their rent. They are owing so many years of rent. Amen. The landlord have done everything to evict them and they could not leave that house. Why? Because they have nowhere to go to. Amen. Now, it, at that point, the landlord came, you know, and, and did something very rude. Amen. I mean, uh, he removed their roof, the roof on the, you know, on the apartment. Amen. I mean, thinking that will force them to go because it's as good as living in the open. Uh, but they have nowhere to go. <laughs> so they look for things to cover their loads. Amen. But after that prayer that night, amen, she said when she went home in the morning, early in the morning, Saturday morning, and she slept, that she had a dream. And then, you know, from that dream, she recalled that it was a repeat of a dream that she had 18 years ago. Amen. And she said in that dream, she saw that, you know, uh, 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 her sister came to her in that dream. It was a repeat of 18 years ago. That 18 years ago, she had such a dream that her sister came to her in the dream and removed a cap on her head, saying to her that, no, this cap, you know, uh, does not fit you. This cap will only fit me. This cap is not meant for, it's meant for me. That the sister removed the cap from her head and put it on her head. Amen. And her trouble started from that day. Amen. But after that vigil, she said there was a repeat of that dream that the sister came back with that cap and said to her, you have always been calling for this cap. Oh yeah, take back your cap. And she returned the cap back on the head of this woman. Amen. And she woke up and said, wow, what a dream. What a repeat of a dream long time ago. Amen. And she said for the first time, in a very long while she could remember, somebody visited them that morning, you know, and gave them a gift of 20,000 naira. Amen. It was a lot of money then. 20,000 naira. Oh, it has never happened in a very long while. Amen. She said she was so excited. Amen. And the same Saturday morning, he said, somebody also came to them and said, oh, there is a, there is an apartment that is vacant somewhere, which I think it will be very good for you. There's a two-bedroom flat, uh, uh, flat apartment that is vacant somewhere that will be good for you. Amen. Can you come and look at it? And then she said, she followed the, the fellow. Oh, they saw the apartment, this same place, beautiful place, ready to park in. Amen. And that they met the landlord. And then the landlord said, do you like the place? And she said, yes, we like the place. You know, and she asked, okay, how much is the place? And the landlord said, it's going to be 200000 per annum. Amen. That was a lot of money then, some years back. Amen. Of course, she doesn't. The only money on her was the 20000 that somebody, you know, blessed her with that money, yeah, which was like, like a diamond mine to her because she has never received such before. In a long while, she could ever remember. Amen. And um, she told the landlord, said, okay, no problem, sir. We'll get back to you. Let me go and inform my husband. And the landlord called and said, why do you want to inform your husband? Don't you like the place? He said, yes, I like the place. And the landlord said to her, eh, it's like you don't have money. Okay, how much do you have? And she said, well, sir, eh, it's not that. Uh, well, the only money we have now is 20,000 naira. And the landlord said, no problem. Pay 20,000 naira and pack it. Now, he said, it looks to her as if it was a dream. Amen. 200,000, I should pay 20,000 naira. Amen. In a city that is very notorious, you know, with wicked landlords. Amen. And that's how she paid 20,000 naira. The same Saturday, it was given 20,000. The same Saturday, it was, they were able to secure a very good apartment. And she returned on Sunday. To share her testimony now why because what she was what was what she was meant to be enjoying was taken supernaturally away from her amen but the lord returned it amen and suddenly <laughs> our situation changed you know suddenly amen now that's why somebody wants to pray these prayers whatever that is meant for you that has been taken away from you 
Amen. Every of your inheritance, every good things that pertain to life and godliness that has been taken over by any power personality, we want to command them to release it back to you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, if somebody can pray this prayer, there will be a sudden change in your situation right from tonight. You will sleep and you will have an encounter in the dream. You will see the returning. Even as you sleep tonight, you begin to, you have a dream and begin to see the returning of all good things back into your life. Are you ready for that encounter? In the name of Jesus Christ. Say in the name of Jesus. Ah, can you say with boldness? Say in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that pertain to life and godliness that is meant for me, that has been taken over by any power personality, I command every good thing that pertain to life and godliness that are meant meant for me, that have been taken over by any power personality, I command, be released to me now by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say, come back to me now by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth, begin to pray that prayer. Lift up your voice, begin to pray that prayer. Command every good things that pertain to life and godliness, that belongs to you, that have been taken over diabolically, satan Diabolically, break the hold of diabolical power. Break the hold of Satan. Break the hold of power of darkness over your inheritance. Let your inheritance return back to you. Let it come back to you. Why must you suffer when you are meant to enjoy? Why must you suffer when you are meant to enjoy? Take back your inheritance. Take back your inheritance. In the name of Jesus Christ, every good thing that pertain to life and God that are meant for me in life, that has been taken over by any power personality. I break the hold of that power personality over my inheritance. I break the hold of darkness over my inheritance. I break the hold of Satan over my inheritance. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every good thing that pertain to life and godliness that are meant for me, that have been taken away from me. Oh yeah, Begin to return, return back to me, 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 my inheritor, return back to me, my inheritor, return back to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hold of darkness, every hold of the enemy over my inheritor, I command, let it be broken now. 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 I break the hold of darkness over my heritage. I break the hold of the enemy over my heritage. Every good thing that pertain to life that are meant for me, come back to me now. Nah, 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 Every good thing that pertain to life and God that are meant for me. Come back, come back, come back to me. 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 My inheritor. Come back. La kata kata kata. My inheritor. Come back in the name of Jesus Christ. Karada sotoriada. Imbradali yegele kusaka. Agagagaga. My inheritor. Come back. Return. Back. Return. Back. Return back, return back, return back, return back to me tonight. Mala da 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 da. Imbradulu ikoloduda alegele kusha imbrada kuzala da elegegegegege. My inheritance. Come back tonight. Come back tonight. Come back tonight. Landa ga da ga da kusa tali brodo sheheli anda. Imbrada liko sotori anda la. Imbrada luzo ludu Sheli brodo sotori ha brada heli kuzuluda gadabore ha. Thank you, faithful Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus.
mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray for you tonight in that name that is above every other name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every oppressor of your life, every tormentor of your life, let them be arrested and roasted tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Every family battle that is raised to consume your life, every battle that consume others in your lineage that is saying is your turn to be consumed, I command, let that battle expire tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Mango Ruduza Ladeli Elia. Every battles of the night. Irodugada Elia Imburada Yegede. That is meant to swallow you. I command. Let the battle expire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Morodosu Randagada Eliaga. Whatever power that have taken over your inheritance in life. Your inheritance in the law. The whatever power that have taken over every good things that pertain to life and godliness that are meant for you. Yea, deny you as in, I break the oath of that power. I break the oath of that power in the name of Jesus Christ. I command in the name of Jesus Christ every good things that pertain to life and godliness that are meant for you. Let them begin to return back to you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your inheritance return back. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your inheritance to return back. Let it return back to you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mando sutele brodo shekele brada liko skele indra li anda. Imbra du supa leko shekolo borudu suturi anda. Thank you, faithful father. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. It is done. Congratulations, friends. Congratulations, friends. Hey, I see a change, a sudden change in your situation. A glorious change tonight. Even as you sleep, hey, you begin to have a beautiful dreams. All your inheritance begin to return back to you, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, it's time to give our offering in this service, and I want to encourage you. Oh, for what God has done tonight, you, I mean, how much can you give to him? Amen. But just express your love. Oh, God, in your offering tonight. Amen. So I want to pray for those that want to release their offering. Or maybe you want to back up your prayer tonight with a seed. Or maybe there's other personal seed between you and God. I want to pray for you. Or you want to release your tithe unto God. This is a very father ground for God to receive your tithe. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, behold, this your children that are proposed to release their offering, their seed and their tithe unto you, Lord. My Father and my God, please stretch forth your hands and receive of them. This they are giving to you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Let their giving tonight stand before thee as a memorial in the name of Jesus Christ. Use it for the furtherance of your work here on earth and let them always have to give in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now there's an account detail that is shown on the screens. You can send in that your offering, that your seed, or that your tithe. Amen. And as you do so, the hand of the Lord is straight forward to receive of you, and it will adequately respond back to you. Praise the Lord. Can we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with me, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Now lift up your right hand. Say, I am God's fire on the move. Say, I am God's fire on the move. Say, I am God's fire on the move. At my appearance, darkness must disappear. 
Say, I am God's fire on the move. Whatever that cannot stop God will not be able to stop me. I am God's fire on the move. Amen. One powerful hallelujah to the most high. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you till I come your way again.